What is up guys, it's boy Gunso and welcome back to an actual quick tip. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to add vocal decks to any vocal, any acapella that you want. That was a weird sentence. Anyways, let's just jump into it. First of all, you'll need a vocal or an acapella. Uh, for this video, I actually recorded myself kinda talking. I am not singing, this is just a test. I'm simply talking, this is vocal decks. Just so you guys get an idea on what vocal decks can do. Next, you'll need some chords in Serum, 3x oscillator, or any sound generator that you can find. Anything that can generate a square wave or a sine wave, something that sounds like this. It doesn't matter what chord you're using, just any chord will do, and any scale, anything that sounds like this. Now, after you have both of them in the timeline, it's time to go to the mixer. You'll be needing three mixer tracks for this. The first one is gonna be the vocal. The second one is gonna be our serum. And the third one is gonna be vocodex. So now that we have these three, it's time to link them. So what I'm gonna do is go on the vocal track, link it to the vocodex track, but unlink it from the master. And I'll do the same thing for the serum track. That way, both the serum and the vocals are gonna be played through the vocodex layer. So now, if we open vocodex, there are these numbers at the top, right above modulator and uh, the carrier pass-through. I have no idea what those mean. We're gonna be selecting the second number to be the same as our mixer track with serum. So in this case, two, this one is gonna be two. So now, if we press spacebar to play the track. I am not singing, this is just a test. I am simply talking, this is vocal decks. You get the idea. So now it's just time to play with the settings, make it sound good, and uh, blend it with the track. Now, of course, you can use this as a uh, background kind of vocal, just, you know, some actual backing vocals. Uh, if you can actually sing or use autotune. Let me give you a quick example. Okay, a few minutes later, pardon the bad singing. So basically what I did, kind of the lazy way, uh, I just duplicated the same uh, singing vocal and i just applied it on the first mixer track so that way it goes into vocodex so you don't need autotune or good singing to make some vocoded vocals that's the point you use midi to keep the vocals on you know a specific note or a chord or whatever you want to do the more melodic the midi and the instrument that you use the more melodic the vocals as well so you can do arps you can do a lot of things but that's about it with this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you managed to learn something from it also you guys still have three more days to get all of my drum kits for 50 percent off and also happy easter